Hi, welcome back to the garden. Today is Friday, and you know what we do at my house on Fridays. We plant. We were under a flood watch. It didn't quite flood, but even the cats are tiptoeing across the yard. I want you to take a look at something that we just did. Now if you can see right here, we've already got roots. And on these slips, on all of these slips, if you can see, they're all doing the same thing. Those roots are starting to come out. You can do this too. Just pull your slips off, put them in water, and in a few days, you'll have enough roots to go ahead and start putting them in containers. As that storm went by, the temperature did drop. It's about 48 degrees outside. It's about 60 degrees in here. Well, I'm telling you, I'm old enough that 60 degrees still feels nice and chilly. But as long as it doesn't freeze, all of these tomatoes should be doing okay. So far, it doesn't look like I broke too many of them. We'll see what we get. But it is Friday, and we plant on Friday. I kind of like the method we did here with the tomatoes, and I still have a few little ones coming up so we're not going to disturb that but we're going to use the same kind of method I'm just going to use these smaller containers so what we're going to do we're going to take our potting soil get it moist and this is just some leftover container from some microwave something or other I'm sure so you take your soil get it damp and I'm going to plant amaranth in this one and I got way too much amaranth but we can up pot these really easy. I'm just going to scatter these across the top. Oh my goodness, that's way too much. I still got a bunch in there. Then, take a little bit more of your potting soil. And just cover it. I got a little mixed bag of peppers here. Scatter those across the top. That's pretty heavy. It's going to be like the tomatoes. I'll have a million of them come up. And just scatter just a little bit of your topsoil over the top. All right, Jim, I've got some of your reaper peppers here. And we're going to see if we can't get some of these to germinate. I'm going to crush these open. If any of these seeds are viable, they ought to sprout. Looks like we got a little mold inside of these. But we did last year too, and we had a pretty good little deal. So this one I'm not sure at all. So let's give that a little drink. Put a little bit of your soil back on top. I've got some queen basil that we've dried, and we haven't even taken the seeds out. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to roll those in my hand. Whatever seeds come out and whatever seeds germinate, we're good to go. Oh, that smells so good. This queen basil smells like licorice. So I'm going to do two of these. I know there's seeds coming out. You can't really tell with the soil, so I can't really show you. I'm confident we got seeds in there. Let me just put a little bit of soil over the top. Put just a little bit of plastic wrap over these. I think these small ones, we can probably do a double. I'm going to leave them right here on the workbench. They said the sun's supposed to come out in the morning, so we'll see what we get there. This ought to be good for tonight. And there you go. We've started two trays of basil, one tray of hot peppers, one tray of mixed, mostly jalapenos, and one tray of amaranth. We'll see what we get. You can do this too. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.